channel I finally have my products I want to use up in 2015 video here I'm like a week or two behind everybody else but that doesn't matter <laughs> I finally got everything together and um, I'm gonna show it to you I don't know if I'll have to do two parts or not I think I have um, an extremely ambitious uh, collection here but we'll see I have high hopes for it and um, I, there's a wide variety of things I think I won't get sick of using these things um, and I have a whole year I'm still debating on whether or not I want to include any of them in the finish seven by spring thing um, or the Cinco de Mayo challenge uh, I'm just gonna wait another week or so and kind of see what I've got see how much I have left and then evaluate whether or not I want to participate in any of those things and I was so excited to film today because I haven't made any videos in a long time and the sun was out and there was snow on the ground the light pouring in my window was beautiful and as soon as I started to film clouds that's just how it goes so anyways okay without further ado and I have a sheet so I have everything written down and, and everything here are my products that I want to use up that I hope to use up in 2015 Okay, first thing, I have a Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I would say this is probably a good halfway um, used up. Maybe I might have half or a little under half left in that. I have two Rimmel Stay Matte Foundations that I want to get rid of. One is in 100 Ivory and the other is 091 Light Ivory. The Light Ivory was too pale for me so it has barely been used. The ivory one I would say is about halfway done. I might have halfway to a quarter left in it. I'm not sure. Um, but like I said, the light ivory is pretty much full. So what I have been doing is mixing it with another item that I want to use up. No, I try to be so organized, but you know, it's not my strong suit organization. So what I have been doing is mixing the uh, Avon Ideal Flawless BB Cream in Medium that I have. Um, it's a little bit too dark for me. Even in the summer, it's a little dark. So I've been combining the two and wearing them together. I wasn't sure how it would work with this being so matte and this being so dewy. But they seem to do pretty good for basic every day. If I had a special night out, I wouldn't mix them together. I wouldn't go this route. I would just use one of my other foundations but for everyday use these two are pretty good together so also this one is on my list too the Avon uh, Ideal Flawless BB Cream in medium I would like to get rid of that also the Avon Ideal Flawless CC Cream <laughs> that I have in light medium this was in my finish 5 by fall wasn't it yes finish 5 by fall and I did not finish it I went through a big thing with this whether I hated it and loved it hated it or hated it never loved it sorry about that hated it then I didn't hate it quite so much now I'm pretty much ambivalent about it but I do want to use it up it's got probably like a quarter left in the tube so not not much to go in that then I have this Avon extra lasting foundation in my shade is shell this is almost full. I would <laughs> I would say this is really, really full. I can um, focus on this, though, later on towards the end of the year because it does have an expiration date of um, 2016 on it. So I've got a full year before it goes bad, and I might not start off with this right away. We'll see. And that, so that's one two three four five foundation type products however like I said they're not full items so we'll just see how that goes um I feel okay like I know like the CC cream and that BB cream they'll go quick especially with this the BB cream because I'm mixing it with that Rimmel I don't know once I run out of the um the BB cream and medium to mix that light Rimmel Stay Matte with. I don't know what I'll do because it's really, really pale. So, but I do have um, a liquid, like a gel bronzer. So I might mix it with that and see if that helps. Okay, I also have um, this Elf Daily Moisture Stick. 
I got this because Emily Noel was seeing how wonderful this was and she thought it was so handy and great. So I went ahead and I ordered one. I don't think it's so wonderful or great and I'm afraid to roll it up and see how much I have left, but I will. If it doesn't roll back down, no big deal. But I have quite, <laughs> quite a bit left to go in it. Okay, this is depressing because I didn't realize there was that much left to go in there. That's a lot of product. So what this is, if you're not familiar with it, it's just kind of like a clear lotion stick. Um, it's not a bad product. I just don't really think about using it very often. But um, I decided to keep it by our bed um, on the nightstand. And at nighttime, when we have any like dry, itchy spots that need to be taken care of this is handy also I used it on the tops of my feet the other night um because they were kind of itchy and my husband calls this the giant chapstick and that cracks me up I think that's really funny I don't know why but it just really really makes me laugh the giant chapstick he's like where's the giant chapstick so that's funny okay now moving on I've got some eye products that I want to use I have four Lorac eyeliners that came in a holiday set. There is a gray one, a black one, purple, gray, black, purple, and brown. So I want to get these gone. I've had them uh, quite a while now. So yeah, these need to go. Um, they're not bad eyeliners or anything. I just need to use them up. So and I have been using them, so they're not like brand new or anything. I hope these roll down. So this is the purple one. You can see I've got quite a bit left on that. I'm always paranoid that when I roll up a product that it won't uh, come back down. This is the black one. It's gonna break. I had to roll it back down a little bit just so. So this is the black one. There's a little bit more than that but it started to like look wonky so. <laughs> so that's the black one. Next is gray. This was in my weekly makeup basket. I have that much left in that. I, I have confidence that these can, I'm not too worried about these. And then the other one is brown. I never use brown eyeliner, so this one has quite a bit left in it. That one's got a lot. That one's almost full. So that's the brown. But I can always kind of use them as base. I can, as a base, I can like smudge them out and use them as shadow if I need to. So that's four of those. Then I have some more eyeliners. I have a bunch of Bare Minerals mini ones. Um, these have all been used quite a bit though. So they, I'm not going to open every single one of them. So some of them just have a little bit left in them. But there is a Intense Black. I think that one's almost gone. Um, the Intense Lavender. I know that one's probably almost full because, well, these roll all over. I know the Intense Lavender because I don't use it, like, ever. Plus, it doesn't really look intense to me. So that's the Intense Lavender. But remember, these are mini size, so. But yeah, that Intense Black I know is probably almost gone. This is the Teal. Not too much left in that one. I have that one on today, actually. Um, this one is the Midnight Moon. It's like a blue-black color. This one's almost gone, so not much. Um, this one is called Forest, so it's a green. That one has that much left. This one is called Black Gold, and this is one of my favorites. I know there can't be much left in this one. Oh, 
more than I thought, but still. I wore this one all the time. It's like black, but then when you um, smudge it out, there's like little flecks of gold in it. This was one of my favorites. And actually, this one um, is very similar to the Avon uh, Midnight, Midnight Flash Chrome. And then this one is called, this one is teal. And this one, almost gone. Did I, have, did I have two teals? I did. I have two teals. Two teals. How does that happen? I don't know. So, yeah. So, I've got those eyeliners. I'm trying to keep everything together so I don't scatter it all about. Oh, and then there's one more in here. Make, yeah. No, make that two more. I'm an eyeliner overload. This one is um, also Bare Minerals. This one is called Ink. It's like a purpley blue color. And then this Buxom um, Insider Eyeliner in Blue Jade. This is really pretty. I like this one. Using this one up is not going to be a problem. So there we have those. I'm going to, you know, like I said, shoot to use them when I can. Um, I want to finish them up, but we'll see. But I feel pretty good about it. I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Okay, let's see. We're at 11.37. Like I said, if I have to do two videos, I will. Okay, the next item is my NYX um, Cream Blush in Boho Chic. I had this in my Finish 6 by Christmas. It's almost gone, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish it. I mean, there's barely any left in that. And then this was the um, Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder that I had also in my Finish 6 by Christmas. This is almost gone. So I'll just continue on with that. Okay, I got my sheet right here. Actually, I'll put my sheet over here by the camera. Okay, I have some lip products that I want to use up. Let's we'll see how, how good I do. Um, but hopefully, you know, it won't be too much of an issue. I have these Lorac lip glosses that I got in a holiday set. They match those um, eyeliners that I just showed you guys. They are really glittery, and there's five of them. I There was the sixth one, but I did finish that up. So there's like there's like a red and like a bubblegum pink. I think that one's called Cotton Candy. This one's just kind of like a nudie pink. This one is like a berry. And then this one is like a like a brighter pink. You can see I've used that one some. They all have a lot of glitter in them. I want to use them up. They're not going bad or anything. I just, I enjoy using them. The one I used up um, before completely, I was like, I used it over um, matte lipstick and um, it, it went really quick. So hopefully I can use those up. There are five of them. The red one is pretty much not used at all in the lightest pink, not used at all barely. So those might take me a little bit. I have this Kat Von D mini lipsticks. Quite a few of these. I don't know the names, then they're really tiny, but this one is kind of like a coppery brown shade. I think I have eight of these, you guys. Um, this one is a red, you can see. Not really used it yet. This one is a pink. I've been using this one. Been using this one quite a bit. This one is like a really deep brown red color. The reason why I want to use these up is because these didn't have a lot. They came out last Christmas. Um, not, not Christmas 2014, but Christmas 2013 in a holiday set. And I had to throw two of them away because they already went bad. They had like a weird smell. And I was kind of disappointed in that. So I do want to try to use these up. This one is like a brown. I mean, it's not a hardship on me to use these. I, li I, I like them. They're nice, but I'm just kind of disappointed. There's the orange one. This will be fun this summer. I love orange. I love orange lipstick. 
And this one, I guess I can do one video on this. This one is a like a nude. Um, and the last one is like a bright red, like bam. <laughs> this will be fun. So eight of those. Then I have all these Tarte mini lip glosses. I want to use these up. These also came in a holiday gift set that I got on uh, Christmas 2013. I just want to use them up and get them out of the way. Um, they're still good. They have a tendency to travel on me. Um, the few times that I have worn them, and it's not just one particular shade. I think they all do that. So it must be the formula. Um, but I, I do think they're pretty moisturizing, so I was thinking I can use them as lip balms at night if I want to. I might try that and see how that goes for a while, um, or around the house, um, over top of these Kat Von D lipsticks. So I have this one, which is kind of like a basic nudie pink with a little bit of shimmer. This one is just a red with no shimmer. Um, this one is, a uh, kind of a neutral rosy color no shimmer. Um, this one is a pink with shimmer. Kind of reminds me of my NARS Audacious and Claudia only with some shimmer in it. Um, the next is this like really pale coral shade with shimmer. This is a deeper red brown shade. No shimmer in that one I don't think. This one is a deeper rose shimmer. And this one is a nude, a very pale nude, no shimmer. So those are all of my lip products. I'm going to put these back so I don't knock anything on the floor like I just did. <laughs> okay, so then moving on, my last items... I have a couple of eye products. These are the Mark Keep It Going Longwear Eyeliner and Eyeshadow Duos. So these can be used as a gel eyeliner or you can kind of use them as an eyeshadow base. I like these. I just forgot about them. And they're all still good because they have this extra like, you can open up the compact then they have this like extra little cover here. And then, so I have this one which one side is black and one side is white. The black side has quite a bit of use in that one, but the white side not so much. And then this one is in, uh, the compact is called, Sur that one was Entourage. This one is Surreal. And this one has, this one I had a makeup basket before. It's kind of got this blue and then the other sa side is like a, sh a bronzy copper color. And then this one is called Exposure. Checking to see if my cam my camera battery is doing good. This one is like a dark, dark brown and then like a sandy, uh, like a shimmery sandy color. The dark brown doesn't have much to go, but the the other one is a little bit, a little full. Um, okay, I have my Maybelline Color Tattoo and Nude Compliment that was in my project pan. Some people uh, left a comment that I w wasn't too far gone from having this done. Um, I've never used up a color tattoo. This was my first experience with them, so I didn't know that. So I'm going to keep going with that. Um, and then I have the rest of this Karmic Kisses pigment from About Face Cosmetics. This was in my Finish 5 by Fall, and I only have, seriously, probably... <laughs> I don't even know why I bothered to show you guys this. Just like a barely, I mean, one use probably, and I'm going to be done with that. So I don't even know why I bothered to put that in here. Okay, then I have two single eyeshadows. This one is the Lorac Single in Cream. It's a matte cream shade. I don't know if you can see. It's hard to tell, but I have quite a good dip in there. Um, I used to use this all the time, but I recently got some palettes that don't have like what I consider a... Um, a good highlight color, like the, my sleek palettes that my husband got me for Christmas. I love them, especially that Arabian Nice one, but like I'm wearing that one today, but it didn't, it doesn't have like any kind of uh, highlight shade. So like today I use this as my highlight. And then the other one is the Lorac Single in Taupe. 
This one does not have as much of a dip in it, but same reason. I have some palettes that, and other eyeshadow um, that I just need a, a good transition or a crease color. So, so those eyeshadows. Okay, then I have all these mini nail polishes. I got these. I want to say most of them came from QVC. They had a set at Christmas time, like probably two years ago, um, like a Sephora for OPI um, mini set. And I, I haven't used them all. I think there was 15 in there total, but I must have gave some away or whatever because I want all I have are these. I know there was like some pinks and reds, but I must have gave those away. Anyways, um, this is what I have. This um, kind of like a shimmery, shimmery beige color, champagne. This one is like a shimmery gold. They need to be shaken up. This one is a gray. No shimmer in that one. And then this one is like a taupe. It needs to be shaken up too. Um, this one is like a dark purple with no shimmer. And I have this one on today as a base underneath that glitter. Um, this one is a dark gray charcoal like with shimmer. This is a coppery, kind of coppery shimmer. This is just a glitter. It really needs to be shaken up. It actually matches my sweater. It's a purple glitter. And then uh, this one is um, like a greenish. It's really pretty. It's unusual. It's like a greenish. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the different colors. It's like greenish, blue, gold. And uh, then this one is like a, like just like a very small shimmer, like a micro shimmer almost. Um, kind of like a taupey beige color. And then I have two from Mark, um, two from Mark Minis. One is this green. They came with the Marrakesh, this green gold color, which, like I said, needs to be shaken up. And then this one is a gold. So, so there you have. Oh wait, there's more. Hold on, <laughs> I forgot about this. Hold on, one second. Let me grab. That's when those editing skills would come in handy, right? And then I have a bag of perfume samples. Um, there are, let me see, I wrote it down here. 14 perfume samples, you know, like the vial on card ones that have like a little sprayer or um, some of them don't have a sprayer or whatever. They're all full except two of them. One is the... Um, Prada candy that just has probably one use left in it and there's another one from Calvin Klein called downtown I think probably just has maybe two two or three little uses in it, but um the rest of them are all full size so um, I want to use these up the whole point of, of uh, Having these is to try new fragrances and find out what you like not to hoard them all in a plastic bag and never use them <laughs> so I would very much like to use these and see if there are any that I can like however if I do use them and I don't like them if they give because I'm really prone to getting headaches with scents um, that I don't like if I use them and I don't like it I'm not going to force myself to keep using it I'll just throw it away or give it to somebody so that is it um so my total is 73 items. I have 73 items that I am including that I want to um, use up in 2015. And I guess what I'm going to do is do monthly updates. I'm hoping. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that yet. But uh, I would like to, you know, show you guys ones that are, that I've used up like empty and then uh, at the end of the year I can tally how many I've used up hopefully it would be 73 right I don't know if I can do that but we'll try it's always worth a shot and it's good to have a goal so um yeah lots of stuff but I think I can do it I mean I really do it's not like any of these things are hard to use they're all nice I like them all um like with the nail polishes I'm gonna do my toes too in the winter even though I usually don't do that because I live in Michigan and my feet are covered up with socks and boots and everything I decided I'll do my toes also and that'll help those little polishes get moving along and I don't really like all the colors in the um 
of the nail polishes, but I have pulled out all my glitters and toppers, and um, that's a way of using them up that, you know, I can use some fun glitters that I like or something to help me uh, get use out of them. So, whew, yeah, that's all. <laughs> um, question or comment below if you guys want to, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I really, really appreciate you guys watching my video. I've loved watching everybody else's. I didn't mean to have mine get posted this late, but just stuff happened and I couldn't get to it. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to be, have my stuff together and have a plan and, um, that's good. So yeah, question or comment below and I'll get back to you guys and I'll see you in the next video.